Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Colgate Raiders and the Syracuse Orange. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, it looks like an m and but you never know if they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead. They can put pressure on the favorite. The Orange should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. First of all, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. Second of all, make good decisions with the run. Don't turn it over, baby. Lastly, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. The frustration right there. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. There's the screen up on top. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Got a man in high post. Down inside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Nothing going to come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. He shoots from the baseline. It's good. Number 23 is feeling great right now. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. From the top of the key, he hits the shot. Stolen away. What a great strip. Syracuse are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. They're really starting to click on offense. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here's a flash from the high post. Now trying to feed the low block. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Great anticipation defensively. They won't let that go. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He'll go to the line. Gets the first shot. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. They go into the low block, looking for contact. There was no doubt about that one. Trying to feed the low block. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He pulls the trigger. Nope. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. 
He keeps his dribble as they reset. Takes the pass in the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Step out on that screener. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. As one of the better players on the team's roster, he's expected to make big plays, isn't he, Dick? Man, I say it all the time. It makes life much easier when you have a guy in your roster who can make these types of plays. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. High post flasher is open. Takes the pass in the paint. Listen to that reaction by the crowd. They're loving it. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. He'll visit the charity stripe. Gets the first. Gets two at the charity stripe. Look out! Defender nailed by a screen. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy. They weren't shooting the ball. Number one steps to the line for the first time. Hits that one. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Can't get the shot to go. Stolen away. On the dribble, gives it up. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. There he is, strips the ball loose, buries it home. Time to pick up the defense here now. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. The center gets the pass, jumps into the defender, perfectly executed. Here's a double team. Number 23 grabs it. On the run for two. The lane. Let's go up to the booth and review that one. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Good job defensively. He's got a high post flasher. Number double zero gets the ball. From the top of the circle. And he's no good from downtown. Number one with the steal. The carrier dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. Puts up the shot. Off the rim and no good. High post player flashing. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Jumped in front to take it away. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feet of the post. Syracuse are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Pressure, great double team, really explosive. Number four takes the feed. He wants a three. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. 
He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Tries for two. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Look at that spacing. The shooting guard with the ball for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. He's got the man on the high post if he can get it there. Turns it over. Launches the three. He gets the bucket to fall. Didn't like what he saw on the post and reverses the ball. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. From right at the circle. That was nice. You don't see plays like this every day. High post flashes. Gave it up. Number 32 with the foul. Second team foul. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, can you blame them, Rob? They're playing well. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six-man for no reason. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind. It blocks it. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locked it on the box. Goes up for two. High post flashes for the opportunity. The Orange are probably among the top schools in terms of basketball history. They have a strong history, which is part of the reason why they attract talented players. He fires away. Goes. High post flashes for the ball handler. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Moving it around the perimeter. Oh, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Outside jumper. Watch here. Here's a flash from the post up high. There's the trap. Takes the shot, buried it. I think right now, I've got to focus defensively. For two. They still don't score. He takes the three. Syracuse are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Dump it inside. Picked off. The crowd really admires this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Number 32 takes the pass. 
Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, guys, the crowd is enjoying this close one tonight. A lot of energy and excitement coming from the stands. What is going to happen tonight? Thanks, Erin. Kicks off the lazy pass. Tries for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. He shoots from left of the circle. Way off target. There's a double team waiting there. And the jam. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He gets it to go. job defensively they just won't give many openings pressure in the basketball goes up for two Syracuse have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense Dick. they're really on a nice run right here they're gonna move it around the perimeter looking for a good shot pull-up jumper from way out he drains the shot For two, can't get the shot to go. They aren't giving an inch on D out there, Dick. Hey, Brad, they're playing the way they drew it up in the locker room. Just too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep. And number two, he doesn't have any footwork and doesn't move and beat him to the spot. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Looking for a good shot. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. He goes for three. Off the rim and no good. Intercepts it. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Oh, what a strip, Red. Transition opportunity coming up. Number doubles, draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby, that's his name. I like that in a player. At the line. Gets it. Some contact. He kept his dribble and used the screen to get the nice look from inside. Gave it up. Now the turnaround jumper. Way off target. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Oh, 
Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. For the bucket, they still don't score. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. the dribble gives it up fake Dickey's gonna kick it back out there from down on the low block I tell you post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you comes defensively on him on the low block kick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. From left of the circle. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. This is what you're supposed to do down low, is go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode in the goal. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get blown like I am. He misses the second shot. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. What should they do here, Dick? I'm going to time out and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Goes up for two. In and out. There's the pick. There's the roll. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He fires from long range. Scorches the net. Takes away the pass. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul. No doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Number 12 coming in for the first time tonight. He will give this defense a different kind of threat at this position. Smart move. With the fake. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Number 42, pump fakes for two. I'd say a great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Controlling the ball. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And a momentary look from three-point land. Trying to draw the foul. Number 32 with a finger roll. He just heaves it up there. Off the rim and no good. At the end of the first half, the Orange lead by nine.
This one's too close to call here at the end of the first, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half? My highlight of the first half has to be this trifecta, Brad. It showed another one of the deadly weapons that this team has offensively. I expect more of that in the second half. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. Syracuse is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad, this kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the rock. Patience and poise usually equals points. Let's it fly. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Well, Dick, we kind of expected that battle between David and Goliath, and that's what we saw in the first half. What do you expect in the second half? I tell you, always special when you see the David and Goliath. And you know that a lot of people out there always want to root for David. I think it's important when you're David right now to calm out and protect that basketball and get a good start in the first four minutes of half. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Pressure that basketball. He's got some room. Let's it fly. He gets the bucket. Takes the pass in the paint. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He shoots from outside. It sticks. Let's go back and watch that basket again. The student body is rocking tonight. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The Orange are ahead by 13. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Goes up for two. That's good. They move it into the front court. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. For two, perfectly executed. Here's a double team. Takes it off him. <laughs> Tries for two and in and out. He shoots from the top of the circle, gets it to fall. This is what posters are made from. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Jumps in. Number 30 makes the finger roll. Looking for a good shot. Defender right up on the ball. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Up and inside. For the bucket. The Orange have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. Working it around the perimeter. The Carrier Dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. The ball goes out of play. 
Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. This is swarming defense. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Okay. Got a nice screen. You betcha. Here's one for the highlight reel. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Moving it around the perimeter. Fakes it. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Looks at the three. Got it. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gets a hand in the way. They work the perimeter. He tries the three ball. These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every play. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. Nice fake. And he'll kick it back outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Executes the baby hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Number 32 takes it away. Tries for two. There was no doubt about that one. Gave it up. The Carrier Dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. You've got that right, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There they come with a double team to stop it. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He does the sweet fake shot. And the ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Leans in. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? He's got an open look for the shot. He tries the three. Way off target. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Three, three. 
Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, during halftime, both coaches told me they look for the pace to pick up and the action to heat up as one team looks to pull away here in the second half. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Dumps it in. Fakes the shot. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Picked off. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Look at this effort. Up and inside. Gave it up. Looking for contact. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. Number 32 comes up with it for two. Great play to take that to the basket. an open guy in the post and went the other way from right in the circle off the rim and no good he's got a nice shot fake he pump fakes executes the baby hook they are heating up this building where they're shooting right now dick the hits just keep coming baby The dribble gives it up and Dick this is just playing good defense really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot I tell you really a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move and he does it exceptionally well intercepted gets it back out we're going to move it around the perimeter. There's the trap. From left of the circle. He buries it. <laughs> Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Three pass in the paint, and he missed. Picked 
popped out of the air. And back they come the other way. He puts up the tray way off target. For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. Look at that stat. I tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. You get bored like, oh, yeah. On the outside. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Up and inside. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. The orange of a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He attempts the trifecta. Rims out. circle he shows the sweet touch here's the toss back out from the post I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer goes up for two easy one the orange are up by 12 Gave it up. He unloads a three. He drains the shot. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. Up, easy one. Looking for a good shot. And the fans are going up. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Look at him, Dick. He's trying to pump up the crowd. He and his team have made a series of great plays. And boy, do they have the momentum now. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. Number 11 goes to the line for the first time. Moving it around the perimeter. They work the perimeter. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers, missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Oh, no. What's he up to now? He's taunting the crowd, Dick. What's he thinking out there? That's what may find him in big trouble with this crowd. They work it around the perimeter. Dump it inside. Number 30 is whistled for the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Second shot is no good. 
This team has got to be so frustrated they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. He is super. He really is. On the dribble, gives it up. He looks for the bomb. Buried it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork. Beating him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Brings the shot. I'll tell you what, with a score, this crowd is going to go nuts, Dick. Looking to move it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession and air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. They call for a T.O., Dick. Hey, time is their worst enemy at this point, Brad. They're going to have to bear down and get some stops. Then convert at the other end. after that timeout, Dick. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They don't get back in a hurry. Tries for two. He gets it to fall. And the ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. The lead is five. What happens now, Dick? Well, this is where momentum can swing in your favor or go against you enough to blow your game. He pulls up with a jumper. That was a brick, man. That was an ugly, ugly look. That's incredible. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. The timeout on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Aaron's right about that. Back to the action now in the half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. You need to 
create as many possessions as possible, so keep falling. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. And yet another foul. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the front end of the one and one. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. He makes the second shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Shot clock is dead. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He makes the front end of the one and one. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Makes the second. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. He takes the three. That's an ill-advised shot. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Here's a double team. The point guard receives the ball. Up and inside. Dick, they had some moments where they didn't look that good, but we expected they'd do this, and they did, and came out with a win. I'll tell you one thing, it's all about winning, it's all about executing, and getting to the locker room with the W, and that's what they were able to do. Survive and win. Syracuse walks away as the victor in this very good matchup. They came in the favorites, and they did not disappoint. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.